It's been a while since we've done a video, so I thought we'd branch out to new territory today, uh, trying to do a tutorial for SolarWorks flow simulation. This tutorial is about adding a rotating region to a flow simulation. Um, this is the kind of thing you want to use when you're testing out things like propellers or impellers, as in this case. Um, I'm going to assume you've already got your part that you want to test. Here I've got a rather poorly drawn centrifugal impeller. Before you get to simulate, you need to have a circular extrusion completely around the extremes of your part. Uh, but the important part about this extrusion is that it is not merged. This extrusion is what SolarWorks uses to define the region which is rotating in the simulation. After you've uh, made this extrusion, you need to select the flow simulation add-in and create a new study using the wizard. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you need to select the external analysis type and select rotating region from the physical features menu. The reference axis, by the way, is the axis about which the part rotates, so Z in this case. After that, you need to select your fluid and alter your computational domain as you need to. Um, the computational domain is basically the volume that the Flowworks program um, runs its solution in. So if you make it smaller, then the simulation runs more quickly. Before you actually run the simulation, you need to specify your rotating region. Um, you need to right-click rotating regions in the left-hand side to add one. Select your non-merge circular extrusion and enter a rotation speed in either rads or revolutions per minute. Entering a minus number into this box changes the uh, direction of the rotation. After you've done that, you need to click Run Simulation from the Feature Manager and it goes away and does its stuff. Now that the simulation is run, I've got streamlines visible to show you that the part was actually rotating instead of being static. And that's all there is to it. For more tutorials on SolidWorks made easy, please visit solidstudent.org. Thanks.